In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. As we begin this new season of Lent, we ask the Lord Jesus, who will journey with us, to help us on our way towards Easter. We call to mind our sins and ask God for strength. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. And may Almighty God have mercy on us Forgive us all our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Grant, Almighty God, through the yearly observances of Holy Lent, that we may grow in understanding of the riches hidden in Christ and by worthy conduct pursue their effects. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. A reading from the book of Genesis. The Lord God formed man out of the clay of the ground and blew into his nostrils the breath of life, and so man became a living being. Then the Lord God planted a garden in Eden in the east and placed there the man whom he had formed. Out of the ground the Lord God made various trees grow that were delightful to look at and good for food, with the tree of life in the middle of the garden and the tree of the knowledge of good and evil. Now the serpent was the most cunning of all the animals that the Lord God had made. The serpent asked the woman, Did God really tell you not to eat from any of the trees in the garden? The woman answered the serpent, We may eat of the fruit of the trees in the garden. It is only about the fruit of the tree in the middle of the garden that God said, you should not eat it even or touch it, lest you die. But the serpent said to the woman, You certainly will not die. No, God knows well that the moment you eat of it, your eyes will be opened, and you will be like gods, who know what is good and what is evil. The woman saw that the tree was good for food, pleasing to the eyes, and desirable for gaining wisdom. So, the, so she took some of its fruit and ate it, and she also gave some to her husband, who was with her, and he ate it. Then the eyes of both of them were opened, and they realized that they were naked. So they sewed fig leaves together and made loincloths for themselves. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. on me, God, in your kindness, in your compassion, blot out my offense. O oh, wash me and more and more from my guilt, and cleanse me from my sin. Be merciful, Lord, for we have sinned. Be merciful, My offense truly, I know them. My sin is always before me. Against you, you alone, have I sinned. What is evil in your sight I have done? reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Romans. Brothers and sisters, 
Through one man sin entered the world, and through sin death, and thus death came to all men, and as much as all sinned. For if by the transgression of the one, death came to reign through that one, how much more will those who receive the abundance of grace and the gift of justification come to reign in life through the one Jesus Christ? In conclusion, just as through one transgression, condemnation came upon all. And so through one righteous act, acquittal and life came to all. For just as through the disobedience of the one man, the many were made sinners. So through the obedience of the one, the many will be made righteous. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. At that time, Jesus was led by the Spirit into the desert to be tempted by the devil. He fasted for 40 days and 40 nights, and afterwards, he was hungry. The tempter approached and said to him, If you are the Son of God, command that these stones become loaves of bread. He said in reply, It is written, One does not live on bread alone, but on every word that comes forth from the mouth of God. Then the devil took him to the holy city, and made him stand on the parapet of the temple, and said to him, If you are the Son of God, throw yourself down. For it is written, He will command his angels concerning you, and with their hands they will support you, lest you dash your foot against a stone. Jesus answered him, Again it is written, You shall not put the Lord your God to the test. Then the devil took him up a very high mountain and showed him all the kingdoms of the world in their magnificence. And he said to him, All these I shall give you if you prostrate yourself and worship me. At this, Jesus said to him, Get away, Satan. It is written, the Lord your God shall you worship, and him alone shall you serve. Then the devil left him, and behold, angels came and ministered to him. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. There's a lot of talk about the devil in our readings that start off Lent. So I think it's worth considering some of his popular names in the scriptures. We hear two of them today. Like, for instance, the word devil. What's it mean? Well, it's a Greek word that means to throw something down or to smash it. Yikes. It's pretty violent stuff or the word Satan. It's a Hebrew word for adversary or an accuser. These words describe the evil one's mission, 
It's to bust us up inside, to put us down, to discourage us. Now, as we begin Lent, it's good for us to remember that any voice that sounds like that, like the evil one's voice, it's just not worth listening to. Whether it's the voice of the discourager himself, or it's the voice of someone around us, or even if it's just that general kind of negative buzz that sometimes fills the world or the news, Today, Jesus says to us, we shouldn't give that voice the time of day. There's one voice we want to listen for. One voice that lets us really know how things really are. God's voice. God's voice in its many, many forms. Like what God said in the Garden of Eden in the reading today, how all is good. Or remember what God said at Jesus' baptism, basically, I love you. So whatever is encouraging, whoever around us is loving, wherever we find goodness growing, we should listen to that. We should look at that. We should pay attention to that and let it give us strength. That's what Jesus did. He listened for that voice. We should too. That kind of voice we don't want to miss. Please rise as we profess our faith. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord, Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten not made, consubstantial with the Father, through whom all things were made. For us men, for our salvation, he came down from heaven. And by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake, he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried, and rose again on the third day, in accordance with the Scriptures. He ascended into heaven, and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken to the prophets. I believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. My brothers and sisters, God our Father wants all to be saved and calls us to the knowledge of truth. Let us pray to him with all our hearts. For the Holy Church of God, that the Lord guide it and protect it, we pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. For all the people of the world, that the Lord unite them in peace and harmony, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all our brothers and sisters in need, especially those yet unborn, that the Lord assist them, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For ourselves and our diocesan community, that we offer an acceptable sacrifice, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the intentions submitted by our viewers at home, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. God of love, our refuge and our strength, hear the prayers of your church and grant us today what we ask of you in faith. Through Christ our Lord. Oh.
Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours be acceptable to God, our Almighty Father. May the Lord accept a sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all this holy church. Give us the right dispositions, Lord, we pray, to make these offerings, for with them we celebrate the beginning of this venerable and sacred time through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. By abstaining forty long days from earthly food, he consecrated through his fast the pattern of our Lenten observance. And by overturning all the snares of the ancient serpent, taught us to cast out the leaven of malice, so that celebrating worthily the Paschal mystery, we might pass over at last to the eternal Paschal feast. And so with the company of angels and saints, we sing the hymn of your praise, and without end we acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, our gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall. May they become for us the body and the blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, and giving thanks, he broke it, and he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. And so, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and the blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world. Bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, 
and William, our bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. And at our Savior's command, formed by his divine teachings, we dare to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Let us pray. O 
renewed now with heavenly bread, by which faith is nourished, hope increased, and charity strengthened. We pray, O Lord, that we may learn to hunger for Christ, the true and living bread, and strive to live by every word which proceeds from your mouth, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you all, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace. Thanks be to God. Saint Michael the Archangel. Defend us in battle. Be our protection against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, O Prince of the Heavenly Host, by the power of God, rest in the hell, Satan and all the evil spirits who prowl about the world, seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. Hi everybody, Bishop Callahan here, expressing my gratitude and that of the entire diocese for you joining us for the celebration of the Mass each and every Sunday. The televised Mass is our way of reaching to you and hoping and praying that with you, God's blessings are going to increase in whatever way you may need them. We ask for that blessing for you and for yours and for your family. God bless you and thank you again for your support.